Give a huge round of applause to Bob McKenzie. Right up here. All right, three, two, one. Raise it. Oh, sure. I have to follow Mac out. More more than most of us know, there are a lot of people on our streets who are disenfranchised, who are excluded from a lot of what we have, who are on medication or off their medication, who are ignored by, by a lot of people, who are invisible to a lot of people. Um, <clears throat> this is for them in the voice of one of them. It's called the dark, shimmering deep for all the prophets. Rags. I walk a wilderness of concrete streets. I speak to the wind. I cry out to the sky and have heard it all I never needed. I have seen how thin is the line and how frail the membrane between us, between the light and the dark shimmering entity ripping the membrane. I have gone too far and have seen too much. I've stepped into that too near night and seen the dark shimmering deep in its heart. I've been to the heart of that place, have been taken into its enchanted arms, and I'm not yet free, nor ever will be. I stand at the gate to that glorious garden, barred by crested iron from going farther into the light flooding its farthest reach. I stand at the gate to a garden of darkness, and it draws me back. I cling to the iron gate between me and the sunlit garden just beyond. I walk the streets of the city crying out a warning. I stand before the masses moving toward the dark beyond this dwelling membrane. I speak to the wind. I cry out to the sky and have heard it all. I've never heeded. I walk the wilderness of concrete streets. I do not know who is walking beside me. And I do not hear the voice so near to me. I'm blinded and do not know this garden. I think I walk through the garden alone, but it seems that someone walks with me, and it seems that someone talks with me. I have not walked at all in this garden or that. A prophet in the wilderness, I stand between two worlds and cry out. I feel in my hands the cold of iron bars, and my eyes burn with the light beyond as the darkness pulls my heart and soul. I walk the streets of the city crying out a warning, yet still the masses swell and press endless into that dark, shimmering, deep night. I am invisible. I am unheard. I am a prophet crying out in the wilderness. I am nothing to those who seek the light through darkness. It is done. I cling to this great iron gate as worlds fall away from me, as worlds fall and crash into chaos and darkness. And I cry. I cry out to the sky. I speak to the wind. I walk a wilderness of concrete streets and have heard it all 